it with a special program called Enelecaku. Come and learn with us. Koko training ended with a visit and performance at Iolani Palace and the State Library. We're here because we're taking a field trip to Iolani Palace and then so I think what we're going to see here is we're going to see like all the things of like the past and like the treasures and all that and then after that we're going to go to the public library and we're going to stay for a little crowd and then we're going to go back here and eat lunch. Yay! inside like the ground floor museum part it's pretty cool that they got to restore most of the artifacts <laughs> studies, we learned about the migration of different groups of people to Hawaii, first to arrive were the Polynesians. According to the ancient legend, Pele, the fire goddess, sailed from Tahiti and went from one island to another. Pele's canoe with red sails reached the island of Niihau before dawn. Of the slopes of the volcano Mauna Loa. 
She lives in a trailer called Killer Whale. We formed teams by islands. Our librarian guided us with research on main facts about the islands in books and on computer websites. We're doing a these island facts so we can learn more about our island. Our technology teacher taught us how to put our facts and pictures into documents and how to pull them into PowerPoint presentations. Finally, each of the island team shared its PowerPoint presentation with classmates. Let the show begin! Our group did the islands of Niihau and Kauai. The island of Niihau. The nickname is the Forbidden Islands because it is owned by the Robinson family and no visitors are allowed. About 160 people live on this island. The main language spoken is Hawaiian. The island of Kauai. Kauai is called the Garden Isle because of its lush green landscape. It is, it is most northern of the Hawaiian Islands and is the oldest five to, five to six million years old. The northern coast of this island has one of the highest sea fish in the world. Kaunakakai, the main town, has no traffic lights, no shopping malls, and no buildings higher than a tree. Coconut tree. The island was nicknamed the Friendly Isle because its people live a relaxing and friendly lifestyle. teacher reviewed longitude and latitude on Earth based on the equator and prime meridian. First we had to choose the islands based on their shapes. The one that looks like a fish is Maui, right? Then we were given the latitude and longitude of each of the Hawaiian islands. On a blank map, we had to paste the islands in the correct positions. To learn our family history, 
We chose a time period when our first family member arrived in Hawaii. The results were put in a graph and compared with the numbers from the other home rooms. A, B, and C. And those were all the choices. This is what it looks like in a graph. We first learned about our water cycle in our science class. Then we learned about wetlands and watersheds in Hawaii. The water, where does the water in here come from, do you know? The rain. The rain, good. So the rain flow uh, fills the streams and then they divert the stream water into the lo'i, to the Awai system, okay? And then the water, after it feeds all the kalo, it actually goes back into the stream. So they're not stealing the water, it has to flow. Okay, it's a borrowing system. And actually when it goes back in the stream, there's more food for the fish downstream in the ocean. Back in school, our science teacher told us about non-native algae invading our ocean. People remove the algae and are recycling it for plant compost. We're going to see if one grows better with compost or is it the same as the one without the compost? Here we are testing the algae. We grew some plants with algae compost and other plants with no compost. Guess what? The plant with the compost grew better. So recycling is a good use for something unwanted. The old Hawaiians lived under the Ahupua'a land division system, which followed the natural watersheds. This gave everyone access to the land from mountain to valley to sea. Today there are no Ahupua'as. The westernization of Hawaii has not been good for the environment and the watersheds. We went on an excursion to Coconut Island, part of the Kaneohe watershed. From the boat, we saw an ancient fish pond that is being restored. We learned about the plant and animal life in the ocean. We even did a hands-on activity with the alien algae that has invaded Kaneohe Bay. From our studies and experiences, we created a science display on the Manalua Bay watershed. We participated in an exhibition to inform the public on how humans have negatively affected this watershed and how they can help.